All right, guys. So we are going to revisit the cooler bypass valve on the 6L80s. Uh, this transmission has already been built. Uh, it's getting ready to be installed. It's on the other bench. And like always, these two boxes, they are included in all of our rebuilds. And this one here, actually, we're going to install one of their uh, 6L80-CLR-bypass or 6L80 cooler bypass. And there's two O-rings, a little shaft, and a little plug here. And we're going to follow the instructions and see what's... Uh, I've never installed one of these, so this is actually my first one. Let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up. I'll go ahead and uh, get my little knife here. Just open this bag. Open the bag up. And remove the contents from this bag. So this is available from your local transmission part supplier. There's the part number if you want to see it again. Uh, there you go. All right, let's see what this is all about. Let's look at this thing. Let's lay this thing to the side. So here we have the uh, cutaway of the cooler bypass. And here we have the... The new piece, I guess this O-ring, one of these O-rings is gonna go here. And new outboard O-ring. So this O-ring is gonna go on the plug itself, on this plug right here. Uh, discard inboard O-ring, okay. This is the OEM cover, so we are uh, staying with the OEM cover. And it looks like we are staying with the internal parts that, are always, that I, I always remove. Uh, let's go ahead and read this thing. Cooler Bypass Delete Kit. It fits the 6L80, 6L90s, 2014 and on, 8L90, 2016 and on, Allison, 2017 to 2019. Corrents prevents, reduces transmission overheating. And yeah, that's a big issue with these transmissions, uh, especially when you have all that metal shedding from the torque converter and getting the thermal element uh, stuck. Reduces operating temperatures, eliminates thermostatic assembly, which is a good thing. Allows you to check fluid immediately, no waiting. And yeah, that's that's this is what the main reason that we do this because we do so many transmissions. I mean that we have to move them, move them out. You know, we have to move cars around, and uh, we can't be waiting and waiting and waiting on the same unit. So um whenever you get rid of this you fill them up and they are already full i mean you don't have to wait until this thing opens up fills your torque converter up and uh finishing in the you know the installation of the transmission removing this and save original cover and snap ring remove and discard thermostatic assembly okay which is gonna we're gonna see that right now uh inner o-ring and lower spring so there's a spring that goes all the way to the bottom and then the thermostatic assembly goes right here. Uh, and then step two, install furnished O-rings on new plug and OEM cover outboard and and discard inboard and original O-ring. Apply assembly gel on pin and insert it into the plug. Install plug and pin and then the original cover and snap ring. Is there anything in the back? No, there's, there's nothing in the back. All right, well, there seems like there's nothing to it. Uh, I guess the first thing we're gonna do is install this O-ring here. Install that O-ring. Which is, should not be that difficult. I guess, because I got gloves and I got assembly lube on my hands because I've been working on the transmission. It is becoming difficult for me to install it and it's just a simple task. You leave that. I can build a transmission, but I can't install an O-ring. All right, so we get assembly lube on it. Okay, so there we go. A little bit of assembly gel, assembly lube, or whatever you want to call that. Let's keep these two parts over here, which that's a good idea. This is this. I actually do this on Fords. I will uh, show you how I do it later. But for now, let's see what we need. We need some pliers. We need some. You know, remove this. Uh, Snap ring. Let's remove this snap ring. Remember, we're going to save that. Get our pliers. So I already pre-cleaned this thing for ease of disassembly and assembly. 
All right, so let's go ahead and lay the parts down. Let's go, let's go ahead and do it this way. How it lives inside of there. So this is how it lives inside here. And here's the cutaway, right? So these are the two out inlet, inlets and outlets. And it goes in through here and it immediately goes back into the transmission. And the reason why is because this goes right here and this thermostatic valve will not allow fluid to go through this passage. That's why you have these two O-rings and out to the cooler, right? So then this thing has to heat up and this little pin extends and it starts opening up like this. And then it allows fluid to go between here. I know. Let's just put it down here. Phrase of explanation. Fluid then travels through uh through here, and instead of coming back through there, uh it go it goes and passes through here, and now it goes to the cooler or from cooler, you know, either or. Uh Anyway, then it cools down and then it shuts off. It, it shuts it off. So you want to eliminate this. And I show you on the other videos that I get rid of this. And then I keep this, but that's not, that's for something else. That's for another video. Well, that's not for another video. The video's up there. So let's go ahead and remove, do what it, what it says here on the thing. Let's remove the inner o ring. Like it says here, remove inner o ring. And we are going to, uh, so basically this little pin is going to sit right where it's at over here. So let's go ahead and install some assembly gel or assembly lube inside the little hole. So it'll hold this in place like this. Let's go ahead and insert it in there like so and push it down. And I hope that we can see it through here. Let me shine the light over here. And it is too bright. It's too bright. But it is kind of kind of sort of centered right there. Let's go ahead and remove this O-ring. I have all these parts in the overhaul kit, by the way. <laughs> all these O-rings, but I mean you don't need those O-rings because they come in the kit. So basically, if you're gonna if you're gonna do it yourself or whatever, you're not going to have an overhaul kit next to you, you know, to do this. And instead of a uh, assembly loop like this, you can just go to your pharmacy and get some uh some uh, Vaseline for the O-rings and that works. That works fine. It's, that's petroleum jelly. Let's go ahead and install our our snap ring. And what I like to do with my pliers, I want to go the other way on the snap ring. And just make sure that it is open up inside the uh, the snapping group. All right. So then this piece goes right here, and then we have two O rings, two O rings, and two snap rings. Now these are a little bit difficult to install. So, I mean. If you don't have practice, you're going to have problems. So there's two O-rings in here that seal your cooler lines. You can see right now, I'm going to take one off. Here we go. We have an O-ring right there. Let's go ahead and put that over there. We'll go ahead and remove the other one. Take them out is not, is not a big deal. Putting them back on, installing them, that's the problem. All right, so let's go ahead and drop the O-rings in here. Well, not really drop them, but we're going to have to uh, get them inside the groove, which is not an easy task, like I said. But if you have a little bit of practice, there we go. We got one on. And what I do with the other O-ring, the other O-ring is right here, sitting in here. Let's go ahead and uh, I use 45 angle picks. All, all, all of my, well, I do have the whole set, but I have like 10 of these. Not, not the same brand, but different brands. All right. Well, I guess for the video purposes, this O-rings actually comply. 
And to install these clips, I just go like this and go around. There we go, one installed. So you just kind of hook it like this, like that. Just go around, and there we go. And I always like to put assembly loop in there, just like that. And now when you bolt this up to your transmission, your lines, you don't have to play with this clips like, oh, I can't get them on or I can get the thing on. You have the line thing, the cooler line kind of holding it, trying to put the clip on. You don't do it that way. You do it like this. And then you just show your cooler line here and just push it and click and click. That's it. And it goes right in. It just clicks on. You gasket. The transmission actually has new seals. The bell housing takes uh, two, two uh, seals that they get ruptured once you uh, tighten up the bolt. It kind of ruptures them on. They're kind of sealed up. And there you go. And these are the old O-rings. Don't get confused that these two O-rings are not this one. Remember, we just installed that. So there we have it. This is actually pretty cool, though. Very, very simple. I mean, I wish it would have been longer and got rid of that. You know, you have less restriction. Well, it really doesn't even really matter. I mean... It is very restricted as it is when it has all these parts in it. You know, it's very, very restricted. Now you have complete cooler flow. I mean, if we get rid of this and make this longer and maybe do like a little hat on this side, you know, to make, make it just flat, that would be awesome too. I mean, that way we have this space right here uh, completely open as well. And voila. I mean, we have more cooler flow. How about that? All right. This is Iron. See you guys on the next one.